Hi, I'm Kendra from Redgate. I'm going to show you one of my favorite flyway features, dry runs. Let's say I've got an environment where I have deployed some flyway commands and I've got some pending. So looking at flyway info, we can see that I have run a few in this very simple environment. I've run a couple of scripts. I've run version 001 and I have a repeatable migration that was deployed, but I have made some changes to that repeatable migration script so that it is now outdated. I have two more versioned migration scripts that are ready, they are pending, and then that repeatable migration which I have changed is also showing as pending. In some cases, maybe I want to do a dry run for these pending scripts. In other words, I don't wanna actually execute them against the Flyway database. I want to create a script that shows what will the deployment do when it runs. This can be useful for multiple reasons. Maybe I want this script to be reviewed, perhaps as part of a formal process or maybe part of an informal process. And for whatever reason, it's more useful to have this in a single script. Maybe I need to have a single script that contains a history of the deployment to file somewhere. Or maybe I don't yet have the ability to use Flyway to automate deployments to every single environment. Maybe for whatever reasons, I'm allowed to automate deployments to some of my development and test environments. But for production at this point, at first we need to have a script that can be manually executed before we can graduate to more automated deployments. Well, dry runs can help us with this. Let me go ahead and just clear my screen so it's a little more readable. And all you have to do to generate a dry run is to specify dry run output, and then give Flyway a file name where you would like it to store that file containing the dry run. Let me go ahead and execute that command and I get some info on the screen saying, by the way, this is only what will represent what would happen in this run. And now if I look at my scripts, my file has been created, dry run.sql, we can open up that script and step through it and see all of the commands that will be run in the Flyway deployment. This includes the names of the migration scripts themselves, as well as we can see that there's commands here that are doing that housekeeping work of inserting into the Flyway schema history table records of what happened in the deployment. I hope that you like the dry runs feature in Flyway. Please do check it out.